Hello, and welcome to There and East of Manitoba again, a completely accurate retelling of how Brooke Trafton pulled the one, one of one, the one ring. In the beginning was the Forge Master, who devised that there should be soul rings, number 300, for the elves that were doomed to be racist on Lorwyn, 700 soul rings for the dwarves, who were doomed to mine the commons box at the LGS, and 900 soul rings for the humans, doomed to die of coronary artery disease from eating too much Taco Bell. But legendary wizard Mark Rosewater insisted in the fires of Mount St. Helens that there be forged a one, one of one serialized, the one ring, and that it be put in a booster box somewhere for someone to find and not actually keep it himself. And so our hero, Brooke Trapton, while wandering the lonely pits of face-to-face -face games encountered a moose running an LGS who offered to have an epic rap battle with him, which he did, and he won. After which he was allowed to purchase for $25 Canadian plus tax a collector booster of Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth, Universes Beyond, Magic the Gathering, and Richard Garfield game. Needless to say, Brooke was shocked to find what he found in that collector booster and used the magical powers of the one, the one of one, the one ring, to disappear for the time it took the CGC to grade this thing, and they took some time. And so the ring did live with him in the Shire, which happens to be west of Alberta. Until finally, on his 111st birthday, he did gift with a solemn purchase price of mm, to one Post Malone, the one, the one of one, the one ring. But our story is not over yet. For Mark Rosewater, the creator of the ring, seeks it and its power. And so now, Post Malone must make the arduous trek to Magicon Las Vegas to get destroyed while possessing the ring. Yes, he must toss it into the fires of the dance floor and get absolutely lit. We went up at a friends and we woke up in Japan. I